Okay, Dinger 51 here. Have an opportunity to hit an old 1800th home. Uh, neighbors have no idea that I'm here hunting. My buddy's out of town and they're pretty protective, so it'll be interesting. Uh, pretty nice area. Um, that's just a little white picket fence here. I'll hit the front. I'm going to use my big, huge coil today. I know that's the wrong thing to do, but I just want to see if I can uh, ground bounce with it and see if I can hit anything. I brought all three of my coils, so if I run into problem, I'll be able to switch it up. All right, I'll let you know what I get. Now, I immediately changed my coil to the um, smaller coil. And this was bouncing around, but it was so deep, 9 inches, uh, Indian 18. All I see is 18 on here. I don't have a macro that I can switch right away, but that's a great first hit. Hopefully there's some silver in here. So we'll let you know what happens. All right, great first All hit. All right, second, uh, third dig. Uh, another, I believe this is another Indian. I can't really tell. I found a macro on here. Um, so I'm going to... I don't know. We'll clean it up and let you know. I don't know how I'm going to clean it up, so okay. I'll let you know. Well, I guess we just, uh, you know, find a spot. This is an Indian, another one. And uh, 19, I can't really figure out which one it is. 19, oh something. Here's the back. Uh, just about 7 inches. And uh, here's what I'm running on my MXT. Prospecting mode, uh, have it in ground, and I'm at about plus one and a half maybe on my knob on the gain, and I'm just under five on my discrimination. All right, oh, this is a fun day. On to the next. All right, pulled my first weedy out of here, five inches. No date so far. I'll have to clean it up. On to All the right. next. Little heart pumper here. I have no idea. I know it's silver and old, and uh, it's pretty big, and I don't know what it is. Sweet, sweet. Benjamin Half, 1954. I don't know if you could see that. Really, really cool. All right, on to the next. All right, um, some trash in between the last uh, dig and this. It seems like it's got some writing on the side. I don't know what it is. Um, could be, it could be a, maybe a button. It's pretty heavy though. All right, we'll clean it up and let you know. All right, uh, I think it's my third Indian. Looks like 1901. Can't really tell. It wouldn't be 1801. All right. Uh, well, on to the next one. All right, some kind of very old decorative piece, about seven inches down. Uh, I'll try to clean it up. Might have been an old button of some sort uh, for probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a dress or something. All right, on to the next one. What a great oh my day. my goodness. Look at, look at what just popped out. Look at that. Still with the shank on it. Oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. Oh, man, I can't remember. I think, I think, uh, I can't remember if Deep Beeps or Ghost Forever found one of these recently. I think this is it. Man, that's pretty cool. Really cool. <laughs> what a day. Probably the best day ever I've had, for sure. All right, on to the next. All right, about six inches down, 1945 nickel. I believe, you know, I wasn't a history buff, but I think this is considered a war nickel. So uh, that would be my first. All right, pretty cool. On to the next. Okay, I'm going to take a shot here. Uh, I'm not real good at digging while I'm filming, but this was an 83 at eight inches. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some dirt. I'm trying to dig around whoa all right maybe this is what it was there's like no weight to this at all at all not even a I mean nothing but it looks like a button looks like there's a hole inside of it I don't know let me test it over here yep 
gives me a 75. I don't even know what that is. It's so light. Well, it could be silver, but I wouldn't know what it is. It was certainly not 8 inches. All right, well, I'll clean this up and let everybody know what it is. I'll rescan the hole as well. Okay, a, uh, a little charm. It is, uh, I would say it's, it's uh, probably copper. I rang up as a uh, copper penny. I'll clean it up and show you later. All right, a uh, 56 Weedy. On to the next. I only got about another maybe 15 minutes and I uh, haven't hit too much. Uh, but um, just the front yard, maybe uh, five feet off of each of the, five foot off of each, maybe of the sidewalk. Uh, maybe 10 feet. I'm about right here. So maybe 10 feet from the sidewalk and each side, the, uh, the walk that leads up to the house. And there's still a huge backyard with some big trees. So I'll be here for for a while here for the next couple of days. All right. Okay, um, guys, a heart one. pounder. I've never found one of these, and I think it's a barber dime. And I'm not going to rub it or touch it. Um, and it was at, yeah, it is. A, I think it is a barber dime. I'm not going to, yes, I am. I can't help myself. Um, 19. 15. So, 1915 Barber Dime, my first. I am super pumped. I cannot believe um, this site and what it's given. What a great, best hunt of the year, best hunt of my life, even though I've only been at it for about a year and a half. Um, so, when I got skunked about two weeks ago, this is well worth it. <laughs> Alright, I, I haven't finished that little scoot from from right over here to the edge of this house. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're done with the hunt, about two hours. Uh, here are my finds for the two hours. As you know, it was pretty fun. Um, so 1954 D, Franklin Half, Barber Dime, my first Barber Dime, 1915, no mint mark. I'm going to do some research, but Civil War, I, I'm looking at more World War One, but we cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, it's got a little bit of writing on it. I can't make it out. Um, probably the company that manufactures them. And then a little medallion, and as you saw, the picture on the back was, uh, was kind of neat. And then we have four Indian head pennies, a 1901, 1902, 1901, and a an 1892 or three. I couldn't make it out, and uh, sorry about all the blurred. Like I said, I don't have a real good camera here. All right, and then here's my clad, two dimes and seven pennies. I checked, and I was right. It's a war nickel, 1945, the last time that silver alloy was used for the nickel. Uh, 56D, a 58, and a F uh, D, and a 54 uh, Wheatback Penny. A little bit of weird stuff here. Um, I think this is going to be, I don't know, maybe some kind of a lead button or something like that. I'm not real sure. Any help would be great. And uh, some bullet casings. And a lead weight. So, all in all, it's a great hunt. And uh, look for some feedback on what, um, I guess, what this is and what this is. All right. Happy hunting, everybody.